Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And uh, yeah, welcome back to the channel. If you guys do not know what I do, I pretty much go to garage sales, estate sales. We do an occasional abandoned storage unit from time to time. We do all types of stuff. <laughs> sometimes we go thrifting, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just we kind of we kind of do a little bit of everything. We're very versatile in, in, in how we find our items to resell on eBay. But that's basically what we do. We buy stuff for whatever price, but as long as we can flip it for higher over on eBay, that's how we pay our bills. That's how we put the food on the table. That's how we go on vacation. So, <laughs> and I love every second of it, even in this dark times of eBay right now, at least for me, I do see some people excelling. I see some people who are literally complaining about what I'm complaining about. All the ones I'm complaining about is just more like, hmm, what can I do differently? Uh, but uh, I'll go in that here in just a second. But we don't have that many items going out between Monday and Tuesday. Very, very slow uh, two days. I mean, it's still okay money, but it's not the numbers that we're used to doing. Um, so I'm sitting here looking and I'm like, what can I do differently? So I was like, you know, we got to hit listing hard. So uh, the other day we did like 60 items for $1,566. Then we had to skip one day because of... Uh, the wedding and then of course today we listed quite a bit today i'm just not quite sure what we're at uh, but here are the stats for the jacksonville storage unit so as of right now we have sold five items for a total of 100 dollars, and we have listed over two thousand and eighty two dollars worth of stuff and that's not counting today but if i had to put a number on it we're probably closer to the twenty five hundred dollar mark and we still have a lot to list i'm talking about a lot a lot to list a little bit left to go through and then of course after we go through the stuff in my unit we have all the cards that we need to look at <laughs> so uh yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a minute um, but like I said, not not a lot of sales over the past few days. But I was like, you know, let's go ahead and you know try to like you know hit hit the listings very hard. But it's almost like the sales just kind of dipped off. You know, whenever I was looking uh, looking at my little performance tab here, uh, like this past Saturday, uh, whenever I went to the wedding, we only did eighty one dollars. Uh, this past Sunday, we did do two twenty six sixty one. Yesterday, we did one forty two sixty eight, and today we only did fifty two dollars, and we've been listing. So I don't know, uh, maybe it's just, maybe everything that's going on in the country right now. I'm not too sure. I'm not gonna speculate, but at the same time, we're gonna, we're gonna try to work hard. We're gonna try to work through this. And, um, and this is why it's always good to have a little extra income off to the side, just in case things like this do happen. And um, yeah, that's why you don't wanna blow all your money. Make sure you guys save your money. <laughs> and that's what I'm good at doing. I'm good at saving my money, uh, you know, in times like this, if I do need it. As of right now, I don't need it, um, but we do have a little bit of money off the side in case things uh, just kind of go sideways. So, <laughs> so anyways, so we have 12 items going out for $287.25. Not a whole lot. We got a little bit pulled behind me. Then the rest of that's gonna be down in the garage. Let's go see what we got. All right, guys, so here it is. So this is roughly seven or eight items or so. And then, like I said, the rest of that's gonna be down in the garage so first things first is going to be this job of the hut uh the thing about this this was found in the jacksonville storage units i wish i would have found this earlier or and i would have took down this listing because this is actually the thing that job of the hut sits on so i'm gonna have to list that separately because i cannot cancel this transaction so i was gonna put them together probably went probably would have went for about 40 bucks or so 35 40 bucks um, but this one right here is a job of the hut little swivel toy it's from 1983 and it sold for twenty dollars plus shipping from peaches to beaches we got this from uh the uh, cole's attic and his wife if you guys remember uh that video and i uh, got it for technically two dollars and you know it's not like a amazing money maker it was just still worth it but in that entire sale with cole's attic we did we did pretty well i know we don't have the consoles listed technically i think by the time this airs we might have got them they're actually sitting right there in that little gray bin and ready for me to test hopefully by tomorrow that'd be great um but either way this latch hook snowman kit sold for ten dollars plus shipping from the 10 by 30 storage unit last year this is a looney tunes baby sylvester hallmark ornament sold for five dollars plus shipping two pokemon cards did this in a deal a while back uh probably easily a year now the purple one is called uh latios latios and then you got grookie and both of them are hollow rares Total sold for two dollars and seventy four cents, uh, free shipping. This is also from the ten by thirty unit. This is a North Taki Polonaise two zero four five serving platter, roughly thirteen by ten inches wide. Sold for fifteen bucks plus shipping. Won this in an online auction with a whole bunch of lapel pins. This is a vintage nineteen ninety seven NCAA lapel pin, 
and it sold for $10 plus shipping. We have a doll here. We've had this for over two years. This is a vintage Mattel Ken doll 1968 and the head is from the year 2001. So I'm not too sure what's up with that. This is actually from the die cast car storage unit and it sold for $12.71 plus shipping. And then we just listed this today. Matter of fact, we actually found two of these in the Jacksonville storage unit. Uh, my buddy Harley got one and then I got one. I listed mine and um, this right here ended up selling for 15 bucks plus shipping. So again, going back to the Jacksonville storage unit, we literally have sold four or five items, whatever I said, for $100. Uh, in total, me and Harley are into, uh, or you know, whenever we split it in half, I'm into it at $435, and he is into it for $435. So we're still in the red, so technically uh, a couple of these sales are not in the green, but we will get there eventually. And besides, I think we have roughly $2,500 roughly uh, listed. So some good, good money gonna come out of that unit. But with that being said, let's go ahead and pull the rest of these uh, orders down the garage. All right, guys, right here in C1, we just pulled it up from the top, and I think this is actually it going out. So yeah, so this is also from the Jacksonville storage unit. Star Trek Next Generation Detachable Saucer Diecast Starship USS Enterprise. Pretty cool. From the Jacksonville storage unit, sold for $30 plus shipping. All right, right here in E3, we're looking for a vintage uh, lock, so. Let me see if I can find it in this monstrosity of a box. All right, we found it all the way in the bottom. So this right here is a vintage Corbin uh, Sesame padlock. The combination does work. The combination is 0000. Uh, vintage from the 10 by 30 storage unit. We've actually sold several of these. I think this is my last one. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, so also from the Jacksonville storage unit, like I told you guys. Uh, matter of fact, before we get into that, um, like I said, we still have that to list. We have to get this Magnolite Dutch oven cleaned. These are the extra cards. I think you guys already seen that. And then that tote, these three totes here, and that tote right there, and then that little box I have to get listed. And we got a little bit of micro machines right there. So we got plenty to do, plenty to list, and I still have stuff down in my storage units uh, from the 10 by 30 units from last year <laughs> that I still have to go through. Um, but so this is the actual item that sold. This is a 1996 Tuscan Raider action figure. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty good condition if you really look at it. This right here ended up selling for $20 plus shipping. Right here in E2, this is from the 10 by 30 unit as well. I told you guys about these before, these VCR head cleaners, they usually tend to do pretty well if you guys can find them out there in the wild, especially if they're sealed. Sealed ones, new ones do really well. From the 10 by 30 unit, Scotch VCR head cleaner sold for $20 plus shipping. All right guys, check it out man. It is Thursday night, it is 9 p.m. on the dot. And yeah, I'm a little exhausted today, but sales look like they're going up a little bit uh, over the past two days so between wednesday and today uh, we have 17 items going on for 545 dollars and 77 cents and again it's pretty interesting like i said the beginning of this week just was not great uh the sales have definitely picked up and 545 dollars and 77 cents over the past two days definitely not bad definitely better than what it's been i've been listing i'm doing everything right so it's good to see the sales kind of come back up so uh yeah we're not going to delay it any further let's go ahead and see what we got pulled behind us all righty here is the stuff that we have a few things from the jacksonville storage unit as well as peaches of the beaches some stuff from other storage units and yeah it's a really cool stuff man this right here is a Monster Jam Hot Wheels Devastator from the year 2003. This is from one of the 10 by 30 units last year. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. So if you guys remember the brand name Play Art, right there, Play Art. If you guys remember me talking about this, I told you guys it is a really, really great brand, but it is, it is also a hit or miss. A lot, a lot of them go for some good money, and then there's some that just don't go for the, uh, a lot of money. And this is one of them that just, again, does not do the name justice, if that makes sense. This is from the diecast car storage unit of April of 2021, and we're still selling stuff from that unit. Might not be a whole lot of money, but we made a killing off of that storage unit. This diecast car right here is a Play Art Charmers Lotus Elite, sold for $5 plus shipping. From the Warner Robins unit, this Nintendo Fun Club News Magazine, Volume 2, 1988. Uh, we actually had three of these, and I believe this is our last one, I think. And this is actually an international sale, sold. For $20 plus shipping. 
All right, guys, so this Troy built battery charger, uh, TVCHG 20 volt battery charger. I tested it, it works. We got this for $3.99 at Goodwill on a random Friday, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. From one of the 10 by 30 units, this is a vintage Parker pin, but it is a Lions International. Um, I did some research on this, could not find it anywhere, uh, but I put something, uh, or I found something similar to it, so I decided to put it up there for that particular price. And don't, like I said, don't sleep on these vintage pens, you guys. Vintage pens do really, really well, especially the ones that say like 14 karat. Uh, I think some of them go all the way up to like 18 karat, I believe. Um, they do really well. People collect them for whatever reasoning. Who am I to judge, right? This vintage pen sold for $10 plus shipping. From the Jacksonville storage unit. This is a Team NFL Sports Impressions Jacksonville Jaguars mug. Now, could not find this anywhere on eBay. I was the only uh, reseller uh, or only seller on eBay with that particular mug. Very cool from the 90s. I think it's from the 90s. Yeah, 1994. And this was in the Jacksonville storage unit. And found it on WorthPoint of all places. I love WorthPoint. WorthPoint continues to give me a general idea of what something will go for. Um, so this mug, uh, I saw comps on there for like 15 to 20 bucks on worth point. I did put it up there for 25. Somebody sent me an offer for 20. So I just went ahead and accepted it. And I figured that was more than fair. $20 for a mug. Let's go ahead and do it. So $20 plus shipping on the mug. This right here is a vintage Ravel uh, Street Fighter model kit. This is actually from Peaches the Beaches. I think I paid three or four dollars for it. I want to say four dollars. And this right here ended up selling for $25 plus shipping. We have a star belt buckle from the 70s, 1978 to be exact. This is Grease with John Travolta. Sold for $25 plus shipping. And this is from the Jacksonville storage unit. We have a video game, Plankton's Robotic Revenge for the Wii. I'm not too sure where I got this from. Probably a garage sale at some point. Had it for a little while. Sold for $10 plus shipping. And then another belt buckle from the Jacksonville storage unit, 1978 as well. Um, this one right here sold for $10 plus shipping. Saturday Night Fever is actually is what is imprinted on the belt buckle. And the rest of that's gonna be down in the garage, but before we do that, let me go and show you guys the stats for the Jacksonville storage unit. All right, guys, so here are the stats as of today. Like I said, Thursday, which is actually April 6th of 2023. All of these are from just the Jacksonville storage unit. Like I told you guys, I want to keep you guys updated because to me it makes sense to keep you guys updated up until we are in the green. That way we no longer have to worry about it. But I always like to give you guys a general idea on any time I invest into any kind of storage unit, no matter if I go 50-50 with a friend or by myself or whatever the case is, that we generally bring all of our money back usually within about a month, about 30 days. And... Um, yeah, you know, we're still a little shy than a month since we won this unit, so, um, but yeah, but again, you know, making good money, that, that's going to be for sure uh, over time. Let's go ahead and break it down. So here it is. So we actually have listed in total $3,037 worth of merchandise so far, and we still actually have a ton of it left in the garage, like collectible type stuff, and that's without even going through the cards, and that's just on my end, there's no telling what... Uh, my friend has on his end um and that's not including the cars that's not including the comics that's not including the rest of the stuff that is still down in our storage unit that we that we still have to go go through um but as of right now we have sold 11 items for 213 dollars so we're about 222 dollars shy from being back into the green but we do have watchers on a ton of stuff so yeah, that's a little breakdown. Just want to keep you guys updated. And until up until we get into the green, I'll keep you guys updated every day up until we make our money back. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, $435 is what we have spent in total, um, but $213. So we're, we're, we're getting there. It's, it's getting close and the sales are picking back up. So that makes me very optimistic that we will have hopefully be in the green by, by next week. I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and go down to the garage and see what else we got to pull. All right, guys, so I just pulled these two items from G4. We got a whole bunch of stuff in the online auction. This was kind of part of it, and I just kind of threw it up there on eBay to see what would happen. This is a Danco 7E-1H like hot stem. Both of these right here sold to the same buyer for a total of $10 plus shipping. All right, right here in C2, you guys, it's going to be this thing right here. I think we got this for a dollar at a yard sale. Total body Pilates with mini ball. Got it for a dollar and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping. All right, back down here to G4. We are looking for 
a calculator, and I think it's gonna be right here, yes. We got this for $2 at a yard sale. I believe this is from the yard sale where we got the two chargers, like the tools for free. I don't know if you guys remember that video. Sold both of those chargers for 15 bucks a piece. They had $2 on this uh, TI-89 titanium calculator, and it sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, you guys, so these next four items that are going out, they're gonna be going out to a viewer of the channel that actually reached out to me, and they said that they were a collector of Budweiser Steins, which is what I recommend anybody to do. If you guys want anything from my videos or my store, make sure you guys message me because, again, I'm not looking to get rich off this stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather you guys get the best deal possible that you guys can uh, that you guys can possibly get to help out with your collections or your personal preferences or whatever you want to spend your money on. And if I, obviously I'm going to make a little bit of money on it, but if I can help you guys in any way I can, this is the one way I know that I can help you guys. Um, but uh, I believe the name is Diane. Diane, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Um, all four of these beer signs, if you guys remember, oh, I think they had like eight, maybe nine nine in total uh five of them are already sold but she came out or diane uh reached out to me and says hey um how much would you want for all your budweiser steins told me about you know a few things going on in her life and and um on top of that uh she had an injury that type of stuff so we chatted a little bit through the ebay messaging system and um she, you know she was just curious how much would i do for all of them and all of them equaled out to 75 dollars plus shipping obviously so i was like you know i tell you what if you want all four how about 50 bucks plus shipping and uh diane said I, that was that, that was exactly what she was thinking so i said of course let's go ahead and do that so she went ahead and paid for everything uh up front so all i'm gonna do is just refund her the the shipping difference the uh the price difference and all that so she went ahead and paid 75 dollars for everything plus the shipping so like i said we'll refund everything but she ended up getting all of these budweiser steins 2017 budweiser stein this one is a the 42nd anniversary edition this one is the 43rd anniversary edition and this one is the 41st anniversary edition. So we will leave these down here until I can get a box to pack them up, but we will send them out tomorrow morning. But all four of these sold for $50 plus shipping. And Diane, thank you so much for watching the YouTube channel and supporting us over here on the eBay store. We definitely appreciate that. And hopefully uh, you think you got a great deal. I'm hoping, you know, <laughs> you know, like I said, I'm willing to work with people. Uh, so yeah, but just again, thank you so much for reaching out to me and, and wanting a discount on something that you wanted. That is one way I can always get back when possible. So thank you, Diane, for all the love and support. Let's go and continue on with these sales. All right, so we actually just listed a bunch of these DVDs, uh, DVDs from the storage unit, the Jacksonville storage unit. And I just listed them, you know, gonna make a few bucks on them. Not a whole lot of, not, not, not like crazy amounts of money, uh, but they're still worth listing a little bit. Uh, this one right here is, like I said, from the Jacksonville storage unit. I just listed this today. This one is the Father Dowling Mysteries, the complete series, as you guys can see right there. This right here sold for 15 bucks free shipping. And then another DVD sold, which is gonna be Blue Bloods here. And this one is gonna be the sixth season. Yeah, don't sleep on media stuff. Media stuff does pretty well. Blue Bloods from the Jacksonville storage unit sold for $10 free shipping. All right, then right here in E5, we sold, I believe, a model kit, I think. Let me see what this is. All right, here we go. Let's see. So this is a Batwing Blue Box Water Blaster. Oh, okay, Water Blaster from 1989. Wow. This is from the Jacksonville storage unit. Pretty cool stuff. This thing right here, like I said, uh, from the Jacksonville storage unit, and we're slowly getting our money back. Um, the, the number I told you guys earlier was from already all from all these sales from the Jacksonville unit, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, this thing uh, has some decent value. This right here sold for $35 plus shipping. All right, guys, check it out, man. It is Sunday. What an eventful week. Got a couple things to update you guys on. Sales have picked up. It's almost like eBay turned that switch on again, and we hit over $1,000 uh, for the weekend. I will break down those numbers here in just a sec. Um, so today is Sunday. It's actually Easter today, and uh, there's a reasoning why I'm saying that is because something sold that was Easter-related, even though today is Easter. Don't know. Either way, it's sold, and we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. Um, so as you guys know, we won that Jacksonville unit on the 24th, I believe, something like that, 24th, and um, 
we had four hundred and thirty five dollars all invested today is april 9th and we have officially gotten the green from that deal uh right now we have sold 22 items in total um for 491 dollars which puts us in the green by 56 dollars so that means we can we no longer have to keep up with these stats if you know it, it, we have a ton to list from it ton to list ton to uh, sh uh sell uh just from the listings we have over 3300 dollars worth of stuff listed and we have a garage full we still have all the books down the storage unit and then we also have all of the all the cards to go through and the comic books so uh but with that being said we did go down to the unit today and we actually finished up getting the rest of the collectible stuff out there was still some some pretty cool collectible stuff uh just not anything like crazy crazy if that makes sense if you guys want to keep updated with like the stuff that i'm listing from that unit just make sure you guys follow my ebay store that way you guys can see when i'm listing what I, what we found that type of stuff because it's some pretty incredible stuff and again we're, we're extremely blessed to find that unit and uh, that's why we work hard that's why we do what we do and and that's why you guys inspire me to keep keep going hard as hard as I can. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, we're officially in the green from the unit, so we no longer no longer have to worry about that. And we hit over a thousand dollars worth of sales. So let's go ahead and break down those numbers real quick. Uh, so over on my first eBay account, we have twenty seven items going out for nine thirty seven thirty. Over on my second eBay account, we have one item going out for fifty three. We have one item going out over on Macari for twenty six, and then one item going out over on Amazon for fifteen fifty. Um, and that leaves us a total of 30 packages going out for $1,031.80. So like I said, the sales definitely went back up and that makes me very happy. <laughs> so, uh, but with that being said, anything else I need to update you guys on? No, I do not. Let's go ahead and see what we got behind us. All right, guys. So this is the little bit of stuff that we have pulled. And like I said, the rest of stuff's going always going to be down in the garage. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start it off. So we have one of these, uh, Death Stranding um ps4 games and we got these for a dollar on walmart clearance and this one right here sold for 14 bucks and two pennies free shipping this is from the jacksonville unit this is the star wars miniatures the force unleashed booster pack i'm not really too sure but uh it did sell very quick for 30 dollars plus shipping we have this adams golf idea 16 degrees so it's a two hybrid and don't remember where we got this from, but it did sell for $25 plus shipping. Vintage General Electric cassette recorder. This is from one of the 10 by 30 units from last year. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. And then right here, you guys, we have these uh, these Easter like decor things. So like you have Happy Easter here, and you got this big old bunny, and then you got another big old bunny. So these set of three like yard art pieces. Uh, I've had for about two years. I think I, I think I found them at a yard sale. I think I got them all for a dollar, if I remember correctly. But we've had them for like two years. Um, after this year, I was gonna donate them or you know put them in a garage sale or something, just to see if I can get anything out of them. Um, but they ended up selling on the day of Easter. Today is Easter, so I guess they're gonna display them next year. But they did sell for twenty dollars plus shipping. All right, so this Pierre Cardin uh, cologne spray. We had about three or four of these from the ten by thirty unit from last year. Uh, this one right here sold for $25 plus shipping. Also from the 10 by 30 unit, we have six of these Dragon Ball Z VHS tapes. They are not new, as you guys can tell there. Uh, but these lot of six are from one of the 10 by 30 units from last year, and it sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Hallmark ornament, Winnie the Pooh building a snowman. Also from one of the 10 by 30 units. This ornament from 1998 sold for $10 plus shipping. And then also from the 10 by 30 unit, <laughs> we had about four of these uh, Matchbox Plymouth Roadrunners. They actually sold... I mean, not extremely quick, but they still all sold, and that's all that matters. I think this is our last one. From one of the 10x30 units, sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, so in this long USPS box, I'll make sure to throw up a sole comp here on the screen here in just a sec, but there was a lot of 7 1996 Kenner Star Wars Power of the Force action figures. Individually, they do not go for much at all but i decided to bundle them up ask five bucks a piece for them like some of them were going for like eight bucks some of them were going for like three bucks so i just averaged them out at five dollars a piece and they actually sold uh in about four to four or five days and they sold for 35 dollars plus shipping all right what's really cool about this piece right here so these are actually very very small miniature cards and these are from 1967 and they're like nude you can't see any nudity on on the outside but on the inside 
uh, they're they're like nude women like little cards now I didn't know anything about it I wasn't even sure if you could even list them and as, as I did my own research you can list them uh, as long as you don't show any nudity and I didn't um, they're actually technically brand new I put them as used though they are technically brand new and uh, they ended up selling for $30 plus shipping and that right there actually pays for my worth point for the month if you guys don't know anything about worth point I'm not sponsored or anything I'm just using them as a reference if you guys can't find anything on ebay worth point is to me is one of the greatest things you guys can ever use and invest in if you guys do a lot of storage units or you're buying a lot i could not find that on ebay i looked it up on worth point and sure enough those things are going for about 20 bucks or so i put mine up there for like i think 40 somebody sent me an offer for 30 so i accepted it i got another one of these uh, little die cast cars from the die cast car uh die cast car unit from april of 2021 this is a matchbox uh international limited 323i convertible uh, from the the diecast car storage unit sold for eight dollars and fifty cents plus shipping all right this uh snap fast model kit i think we had two of these this is my last one and then we had two roadrunner ones and the two roadrunner ones already sold the other speedy gonzalez one already sold and this is the last one also from the 10 by 30 storage unit sold for twenty dollars plus shipping nintendo power magazine this is not from the warner robins unit but it is from like my death pile got these in a while back in a local deal um, this one is Magazine Volume 149, Star Wars Rogue, and the Spyro posters inside. Sold for $5 plus shipping. These two quick grip bar clamps right here. Pretty cool. Sold in a lot of two. We got these in an online auction with like a whole bunch of stuff. So the way they did it was you have like a rack like this, and they just filled up all of the, sh uh, of the shelves that... Uh, with stuff that people didn't bid on and then they just auction out the whole thing so that's where this stuff comes into play um, but yeah these uh, quick grip bar clamps ended up selling for twenty dollars plus shipping the spongebob square pants five pack die cast car stuff and a blimp and you know yada 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 um this one is from one of the 10 by 30 units and it sold for 18 bucks plus shipping go away one year replacement filter pack we ended up getting this from Black Friday deals for seven dollars. Yeah, this, that is correct. This one right here is sold for twenty one dollars and twenty four cents plus shipping. All right, and then this thing right here is a a real ninja like obstacle course that you can like put in your backyard, anchor it to a tree, and you're basically your kid can be like an obstacle American Ninja Warrior type thing. Uh, we got this for seven dollars at Black Friday deals, or it was six dollars at Friendly Marketplace. I do not remember, but a dollar difference don't really make a difference. Uh, this right here sold for fifty three bucks, uh, free shipping. All right, let me show you guys a quick update of what's going on in here. Made a little bit of room. Uh, Harley did take, I think, two. So like one big box, I think one like little small box, and then one like really small box. Um, but yeah, all these are still cards. I brought all this stuff home, all of that right there, all of this right here. I think this was already here. Um, and we got some totes right here with some good uh, solid inventory. And again, we just have to, you know, we have to get it all listed. We're gonna try. Um, my dog Max decided to come say hi. Hi, buddy. You wanna go back inside? There you go, buddy. <laughs> he always likes to join me out here. Um, but yeah, let's go see what our first order is. Okay, so from the Jacksonville storage units, we're looking for this right here, I believe. This is a Star Trek celebrating the 50th anniversary like DVD set. It is the Next Generation Motion Picture Collection from the Jacksonville storage unit, sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, right here in E5, we just listed this the other day. This is also from the Jacksonville storage unit. We have this William Shatner's Tech War. Man, look at the CD, it's coming a little loose right there. There we go. Um, and I think it's a PC game or something. It says first person. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's a computer game. Okay, cool. Um, from the Jacksonville storage unit, sold for $45 plus shipping. All right, so right here in C4, we pulled this uh, 50 caliber aircraft gun. Oh, anti aircraft gun. Yeah. From the Jacksonville storage unit, this one right here sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, right here in K2, we got this grease belt buckle. We already sold the other one. This is our last one from 1978, 76, sold for $21 plus shipping. All right, so right here in C4, is this C4? Yeah. Uh, two, two of these sold to the same buyer. 
and yeah so these are the 81 millimeter mortar right there and then you got the 50 caliber machine gun right there the same one that just sold uh both of these sold in total for 25 dollars plus shipping right here in k2 i already got it pulled down it's gonna be this digimon like coin bank me and harley couldn't figure out what this was and then i finally was able to find it i put it there for a little bit more than the current one listed because mine was in a cleaner condition this is from 1999 digimon coromon little coin bank pretty cool sold for 34 dollars plus shipping all right something that didn't sell for like a whole lot but again from the jacksonville storage units uh we are already in the green on the deal as you guys know but this four film batman favorites sold for three dollars plus shipping all right so right here in k2 i think it's right here this is actually from one of the 10 by 30 units from last year this is a 10 o tools 15 piece socket wrench tool set uh, it's actually very clean on the inside. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, right here in C4, there was a few model uh, like rocket kits. You got that one. You got like these two bigger ones. I think this is the one that sold the launch control system. Yes. So again, this is from the Jacksonville storage unit as well as those two things. Whenever we were splitting um, stuff up, there was at some points where we we're like, hey, let's just lay it all out and just pick two or three at a time and then. If we score big, we score big. If we don't, we don't. Um, he actually, so whenever we were looking at the vintage like uh, t-shirts, he found some really cool like big print uh, Jaguar uh, t-shirts. There's, there's, I don't know how many exactly there were. I want to say there's like maybe like seven or, of them or whatever. I, I only took like one. I, I let him have the rest. And I think he said he sold all of them in like 15 minutes for like 178 bucks, which is crazy. So like he's going to win some, I'm going to win some. And I'm, we're, like I said, we're already in the green. Plus on top of that, we got a gun. And a few other things so it's pretty it's pretty cool uh the outcome of this unit um but this launch control system uh, i found on worth point this right here sold for 60 bucks plus shipping all right guys then right down here we have this uh insanity eh, let's see if i can fix that right there yeah so this insanity max 30 um set i believe we got this for six bucks at friendly marketplace i don't remember um, but this is what actually sold over on Macari for, I believe, 26 bucks plus shipping. All right, guys, right here in C1, I believe we got this Kirk connector. I, I want to say seven bucks at Black Friday deals, but it might be a dollar at a yard sale. I do not remember, but it did sell for 15 bucks and 50 cents uh, free shipping over on Amazon. And that's going to be it. That's <laughs> everything going out for this entire weekend. So, we, like I said, we hit over the $1,000. Uh, threshold which is amazing I always try to shoot for that um like i said the past week or week and a half two weeks or so have been really kind of slow um but this is the next project though this is the next project again don't know how we do it but we're, we're good at what we do and we're proud of it and that's what hard work and, and passion does for you guys it goes a long way um but of course i can't take full credit for everything i, I learn non-stop from other youtubers and uh especially one of my um uh one of my friends on youtube uh grimes finds uh you know he he's, he's taught me a lot you know by watching just his videos in general um but yeah that's gonna be it you guys that is everything so much love thank you guys for all the love and support man we're looking at more storage units we're, we're gonna be doing more stuff exciting stuff hopefully and hopefully we just continue this year and continue on the ebay reselling journey train and just and just keep just keep chipping away man keep chipping away one day We'll be able to retire from this 20 years down the road, right? <laughs> I can imagine me doing YouTube 20 years down the road, and I'll be 50 years old because I'm 30 today uh, now. So I mean, imagine me doing this in, in 20 in 20 years. I probably would be <laughs> if I'm if I'm alive and I'm living and I'm healthy and all that good stuff. I probably will be. Um, but anyways, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. That's gonna be it for this video. Uh, much love. Thank you guys for inspiring me to do this, and let's just keep it rolling. Much love, it's your boy Georgia Picker. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.